All right, welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Calm Rich Walsh alongside Andrew Filipponi. And I got an interesting tweet from Mike Vakovkan just tweeted us, Pony. Yeah. And it was a tweet about Jeremy Fowler, who is down there, the ESPN reporter from um, the Jeremy Fowler ESPN reporter. He's at the Steelers right now interviewing Daryl Drake. And Daryl Drake, the wide receivers coach on Deontay Johnson, said the fact that Tampa Bay was going to take him with their next pick. I got cussed out by Tampa Bay's head coach, Bruce Arians, who called us some names for taking him. That was his guy. So I guess this makes sense if they thought someone else was going to take him here. Um, at least the Steelers weren't the only ones yeah, that were eyeing up this. Yeah, if you're with somebody, you don't play the waiting game. If you really believe in a player, you know, it's not a fantasy draft. You don't keep your fingers crossed that someone's going to fall to you in three or four rounds high-stakes football. But I think this is what happens, Richie, when you start to have teams that – you know, scout and evaluate players the same way you do. I mean, the Patriots have to deal with this all the time. When you have six other organizations that have former Belichick assistants or former Belichick uh, scouts running the front offices, is that they evaluate players the same way. So it's not surprising to me that Bruce Arians would look at Deontay Johnson and say, he can be my Antonio Brown clone down here, or poor man's Antonio Brown in Tampa Bay because you'd think the way he evaluates a player at wide receiver probably isn't all that different from the way the Steelers do it. Yeah, and speaking of the Patriots, they drafted Chase Winovich. That's where he ended up going in the third round. So uh, it seems like he would be kind of a good fit with and, that Patriots uh, defense, right? And, like, I'm already having nightmares that we're going to be up there <laughs> week one. Yeah. We're going to be playing that stupid Bon Jovi song, and he's going to run out of that tunnel <laughs> with that long hair. Yeah. You know, and have like three sacks. Right, there's going to be a new right yeah. tackle, and Filer's going to be a turnstile for, uh, for Winovich. And his dad's going to be there with a mullet, you know, right? <laughs> All right, let's go out the phone lines. We're going to go out to Nick and Peters. What's up, Nick? Nick, you there? Hey, guys. How hey. you doing tonight? Hey, Nick. Good, thanks for calling. Hey, thank you for taking the call. Um, thank you for all your work. Uh, quick thought. Um, can never question the guys taking the – or I can't question the Steelers taking the wide receiver – uh, second round feels a little early, but uh, Deontay Johnson, real quick, him and A.B., uh, height equal. Weight, uh, D.J. is about three pounds lighter. 40 times, he's faster. Uh, his vertical jump is the same. Broad is a little shorter, uh, same conference. But we got A.B. in the sixth round, right? And this guy's in the second. So... No questions on what they're going to do uh, or on their thoughts. But got to ask you, in the second round, do you feel like this was the right move for us to take? Oh, it was early well, third, it was a, yeah, yeah, I thought I mean, it was a reach. They I mean, acted but, like it was a second yeah. round pick. Yeah, it was a third round. But after reading this tweet from Jeremy Fowler, it makes you think that this is a the guy they wanted. And if you want this guy, if you're in love with a guy, maybe you have to go if up a little bit If you just go strictly by their history with, with taking players at a position, then you would love the Johnson pick and hate the Lane pick, right? Because they seem to get wide receivers yeah. right all the time, and they always miss on corners. Well, we don't know so if by they that got logic, Washington he, right yet. And I don't think they did so far. I mean, if I'm going to give him a grade on his rookie year, I'm, I'm not giving him an incomplete. He played. He was healthy. I'm giving him like a D-. minus. He was a second-round pick. They brought James Washington here to, to fill Martavis Bryant's shoes, to be that big play threat, and it just never happened. And now there's going to be even more pressure on him because of Antonio Brown leaving. And I don't think Juju, I, I believe, Richie, I think Juju will have a really good year. But to expect him to have the defense come over on him and double team him and put up the same numbers as last year, I think is too much. It's yeah, he a needs a lot of help. Year. He needs right, a good year be, from Vance McDonald. It needs he needs to be a good year around. from a guy like Washington. And they need to run the ball more, too. All right, Don out my 11. What's up, Don? Hey, Rex, how are you doing? Good, thanks for calling. Hey, I got three quick questions for you. Okay. How old is Joel and Stahl? Uh, he's got to be close to 30. 30 I'm, not, I'm and, not positive, and, yeah. And number two, I think the Steelers should cut Artie Barnes because he stinks. And number three, the Pirates ain't going nowhere this year. Okay, thanks. Those were a couple statements, but uh, thanks for calling in here. Um, I don't think that they should cut Artie Barnes yet. See what he does in what training else do you camp? What else you see? It, well, I just want to see if he gains his confidence back. Maybe he gets, maybe something, maybe he wakes up. And, um, you know, he came out a year early, maybe he wakes up and he, he finds himself and he finds his work ethic. And would you he's the guy the, we've seen, we saw two years ago, not last year. Would you pick up the fifth year option on him? No, I wouldn't pick up the fifth. So I'd gamble. So he's a lame duck player. For yeah, he's going to be a lame. Because, look, you're in a no-win situation. If he has a great year, you're not going to be able to afford the guy. Uh, and if he has a down year, you're going to end up 
cutting him anyway. So I think you keep him around, an extra body. Uh, you know he has some talent. Maybe he can make a play along the way. Um, but I, I, think, I think you need as much depth as you can back there. Fair enough. But I think it's going to take some serious injuries for him to get in the lineup. <laughs> All right, we've got to take a break. Back to wrap things up coming up next. Stay right there.